Hello, gentle viewers. This is Av Guardian welcoming you back to Out of the Park Baseball 24 with the Oakland Athletics. In our previous episode, um, we played very, very poorly. <clears throat> but we got rid of a lot of the dead weight. And we've got a much younger team now that should offer us with some intriguing possibilities going forward. In addition, uh, we saw a major change happen already. The secondary roster is not only 38 players instead of 40, so that's going to leave some interesting strategic decision making later on. Thank you very much to everybody who pointed out that turning off shifts is uh, over here. So there we go. Um, so ban for infield shifts is yes, and everything else is here. The other thing we might want to do is slightly increase the number of stolen bases. But I... Hmm. Just because, look, um, that's something that happened in real life Major League Baseball this year, is the larger um, bases. And they think it might increase stolen base attempts and success. I know that's actually going to happen, happen though, so I will, for the moment, ignore it. So thank you to several people responded about that. So, the next thing I want to do is get some screen setup done. This is great. I like what's here. But I'd almost prefer it as... Do I want three rows? Now, it makes it harder to see, not easier to see. So let's go back to two rows. That seems reasonable. Okay, so first thing I want is I don't really care about the team schedule. I want my top prospects. <clears throat> I care very much about most of these things here. And this looks solid. The division crap is kind of neat. I appreciate that, but I think there's something better. Ooh, chemistry and cohesion. Oh, that's for players. That's not for coaching. Okay. I always like the who's hot. I always think it's cool to see who's doing very well and who's not doing so well so we can make further decisions based on those. So, okie dokie, artichokey. I wish I could pick what was in the team batting leaders, though. Eh. It'd be like that sometimes. We have meet the team. I do want to go into... I'm not accounting the owner window here. All these things are nice. Now, so there's a couple of things we might want to do in terms of team goals. The thing is, though, most of these are so low that it doesn't really matter to me. Um, all right. I like our scouting director a lot. But he's also kind of a jerk. Like, we have a lot of personal people. He really doesn't like them. Let's take a quick look at personnel and maybe make a couple changes here. So Darren Bush is... He's not the worst bench coach I've ever seen. But his personality is significantly affecting staff cohesion. We want somebody to see the personable or temperamental, and I can't help but notice. Yeah, let's go ahead and can him. Uh, so Darren Bush is fired. And we want somebody temperamental or especially personable. You know what? Eric Kubata isn't terrible. No, I want to keep around for at least one more draft. So let's just improve cohesion and let's get ourselves a bench coach. And we want somebody who's really good at development. 
I think John Farrell would be an excellent choice. He's easygoing. I don't think we necessarily care about easygoing, though, do we? Um, it would actually create some issues, in all honesty. I think normal would be the best, actually. John Farrell is he's oh, already saw that, sorry. You're temperamental. I can kind of make this work because you're quite literally an amazing coach in every other aspect of the game. Oh, uh, I want a great teacher though. So what about uh what about Jimmy Gonzalez here? He's easygoing. Again, that's a small issue, but we can work on the rest of it here later. Let's go for Garrett Bauer, actually. I think Garrett Bauer seems like a really good choice to be a, a nice young coach for us. So there's that offer. Um, arbitration. We already offered Blackburn. Haggerty's whatever. <clears throat> I like Haggerty's flexibility, even though he's not a great hitter. So at least for now, I'm going to keep him around. But we do want to be looking at possibly some upgrades there. All right, my friends. Is anything else need to happen? Let's go ahead and zip on down and just accomplish a couple of days here. Beautiful. Okay, Mets. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm not saying that Paul Blackburn is anything special, but this is the kind of trade I think I have to reject. I don't think that works for me. I mean, Sal Frelick is certainly not a bad player, but again, I can't give up Paul Blackburn. Um, Paul Blackburn, at least for this year, is untouchable, so let's go ahead and set him to that. That'll hopefully reduce the number of offers I'm getting that I have no intention of accepting. Mr. Tapia has agreed to a new contract. It's very reasonable. Okay, Jared Walsh. Jared Walsh is decent, and I don't have a great first base situation, but I can always get more first baseman, right? So, eh. <clears throat> I'm not really going to invest in that, I don't think. You'd give me Will Benson back. That's hilarious. But, no. Oh, no, I have Will Brennan. How do I have Will Benson? Interesting. Yeah, I got confused there for a minute. Yeah, that doesn't really do much for me. The thing is, I really like Pozo. So I think we're going to keep Pozo. I'm going to go ahead and mark him as untouchable for now. Let's go down to free agency off. Okay, very, very cool. And we got no awards. That's kind of a bummer. Not surprising, to be sure, but I thought at least like a gold glove might be possible. But no, that's fine. That's fine. 
Um, okay. I could see acquiring him. He's not like an amazing pitcher, but he's a nice little depth piece. And there's reason to have some uh, interest. Yeah, let's absolutely give him a minor league contract. Um, we'll just get Shohei Otani. I'm joking. We don't have a snowball's chance in fucking hell signing Shohei Otani. It'd be funny, but it'd be the only player that we can sign. And as great as he is, I think we need to be a little bit more circumspect. Um, is there anybody who definitely has a clear role on this team? Is there any position player that isn't replaceable? Let's do a quick search of batting ratings here. Allen and Langoliers, I think, are reasonably likely to keep their jobs. And then there's a whole bunch of players that I just frankly don't know how they're going to fit into the team yet. Um, so for like, if we can get a 60 or 65 at any position, I think we go for it. But I do think our bigger concern, I'll let me look at pitching ratings, thank you, is pitching. If we can get a great pitcher, that would be tremendously helpful. we look at all players. Just for the share of lulls of it. Yeah, we can't afford that. Um, <laughs> let's just kind of bask in this for a moment. No, 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 no. That's not happening. Okay. Mark Canha. Eh, pass. A guy like Alex Cobb would be a really good addition to this club. Let's offer him a contract. Okay, here's my counteroffer to you, dear sir. A two-year deal with a team option. I will make that offer to you. Um... Hey, it's the Enrique Hernandez from the other series. Wild. Upgrading the bullpen does make some sense. Um, especially because I can do it for fairly cheap. Let's offer him a deal. I'm going to do the same thing I did with you that I did with, uh, with What's-His-Face. Uh, we're going to make this a, um, we're going to give you a two-year deal. <clears throat> what else do we need? I don't want to spend too much on free agents. Okay, Giloff and Soderstrom are both very talented. Um, oh, anybody here that I definitely want to keep? Let me add you to the 40 man. Randy Vasquez at least has some potential, so I feel uncomfortable giving up on that. I'm going to trade Jonah Bride. Uh, and see if I can't get a nice prospect for that. Even an average prospect, really. Uh, I could get Cole Cummings instead. You know what? Done. A good old challenge trade of third baseman for third baseman. 
the rest of these guys don't really fill me with any great feelings about anything. So, okay. I'd like to get one more starting pitcher, perhaps. We could use a good on base guy if we could get one uh, at a reasonable price. I do wonder if keeping Pache is all that smart. His only value is defense, whereas Cameron Misner is almost as good defensively and is much superior offensively. So I think trading Pache makes some sense. Um, I think a defense-only center fielder is not what the Oakland A's needed this time. Really? Let's add in some others here and see what else might be available here. Okay. Hmm. Trevor's story is pretty rich for our blood. I don't really need a second baseman, otherwise I'd consider Polanco. Reese Hoskins, maybe. Interesting. You don't want Brian Reynolds? I know Brian Reynolds is incredibly expensive and could just opt out, but he's a really damn good player. He would instantly make us a pretty a pretty good dude. If I asked you to eat I'm not going to overthink this. Let's just make the trade. Brian Reynolds is too damn good a player that has too many skills we desperately need. I'm a thousand percent for this trade. Now what we need to do is figure out who, if anybody, should go. Um, in an attempt to make sure we have plenty of money for other players as well. But we have our star now, and that's something we didn't have before. Um, we might just kind of chillax a bit and see how all this works out. Okay. That's good. And that'll probably make the owner happy too. Like, that's got to be what he was looking for, right? A nationally popular player. <clears throat> Let's get I gotta be honest with you, neither of my first baseman fill me with joy, but neither does Diaz or Diaz is at least a decent second baseman, so there's something to be said for that. But Jace Peterson is kind of a waste. He doesn't really have all that many tools. Oh, excuse me. That are of interest to me. So. Mm. I think one more starting pitcher perhaps might be the route to go here. Let's look for starters. Somebody that won't cost me a huge sum of cash. A Charlie Morton, maybe. Like, he's still better than most of the people I have on my team. That's an undeniable fact, but I wouldn't mind somebody a bit younger that I could maybe get a couple years out of.
Oh, you just don't want to sign with me. It even says it right there. So, whoops. Lucas Giolito, maybe. Things I've got a lot of 45s already. If I'm not actually upgrading, I don't see that it makes much sense. Especially when if Richard Fitz can improve just a little bit, he's got a really good chance of making the rotation. So I think this is good. I think this is a good start to free agency. Let's let some time progress. Um, oh, I guess we'd have to activate him. Fine. Um, everything is fine. Look, remember, we're just looking for improvements. We're not going to be making the playoffs pretty much regardless. All right. Mm, mm hmm. I do agree with Bobby Abreu. Uh, I do think he is a Hall of Famer. Same with Beltron. Adrian Beltre is a no doubt about it kind of guy. I do like Mark Burley, and I will consider voting for him. Gotta give some love to Bartolo Colon. It's mandatory. Um, Zach Greinke is a pretty big layup in my opinion. Uh, yes to Todd Helton. Maybe King Felix? I'll come back to him. I'm looking to make sure that the Ultra Stars are actually getting the appropriate thing. Joe Maurer definitely deserves it. Andy Pettit does too. Albert Pujols, a thousand percent. I'm going to scrap Burley to add in A Rod because I also think he deserves it, and it's pretty obvious that he does. And CC Sabathia, definitely. I will drop. Um, I'll drop a Brayu to add on CC. Here's the thing. Each row is 3,000 hits. I get that, but I, I prefer my... You know what? No. I'm not going to leave people off the ballot when I could just change the ballot. Uh, we get 15 people. I think that's fair. At least until the logjam clears, because I do think there's plenty of players here that are worthy, and I don't want to see them get left out. Uh, Chase Utley, Ichiro. Yadier Molina, I think, is going to make it whether I want him to or not. I'll vote for Brian McCann as well, because I'd love me some quality catchers. And then maybe round out with John Lester and just see how this first round of voting goes. There you go. Um, Blake, my dude. I'll give you a little bit more.
Wait, we didn't even get a lottery pick? Oh, that's kind of lame. Man, that sucks. Fine. I'll pay a little bit for you just because I do want to uh, shore up the bullpen a little bit, but I'm not going to go crazy about it. Pittsburgh's actually offering you money. I don't think I can match that. I can't match actual money from you. That's wild. He's just going to keep playing teams against each other uh, until somebody eventually signs him. All right. Rule 5 draft time. Let's go. I don't know why people would want Dalton Jeffries, but okay. Um, all players, please. Oh, because you're not really a third baseman. You're really a first baseman. But you look like a pretty damn good one, actually. really need outfielders, but I could use a really good first baseman. <laughs> Done. If he's still around, I'm grabbing Tyler McGill just because I need better relievers. So give me some Tyler McGill action, please. What? Why can't I? Oh, I'm already at a full 40, man. That's awkward. Uh, Adam Aller, you can go away, please. Because I actually really want Tyler McGill. I think he could be a very handy player. There you go. Draft player. Oh, nice. Really, Tyler McGill is, like, the one guy that people are going bananas for. Um, that's good enough for me for right now. I'm going to go ahead and auto-complete the draft. People really think Dalton Jeffries is going to be amazing, huh? All right. You do you, gentlemen. You do you. Orlando Garcia isn't a bad player. He's very versatile and can play a bunch of positions. But I kind of need Mason Miller. And I especially need... Yeah, I think I have to decline. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Uh, what? Ah, uh, organization members DFA, and yep, you can head on down to Triple A. How is my international stuff going here?
Um, I'm just going to grab all the interesting looking players here. And let's look at pitchers too. I guess I can't invite Bautista twice, can I? I'll invite him too. Mr. Zavala here. Excellent. And let's get rid of Sam Mole. He doesn't seem like he's all that great. Um, let us go ahead now and do a thing. Scooting International, let's run another pack practice. Here we go. Okay. So you want Jace Peterson. That's already a pretty big boost to me. The thing is that Ricardo Yawn sucks. Truly. Interesting. So I don't think quite as highly as Daniel Bautista. But we think more highly of Edgar Shireddy. Okay. Uh let's let's discuss this. I'm not doing Bolte, and I don't want Young. What I want instead is somebody a bit better. Like, you wouldn't give me Romero Lamas, would you? I'd be pretty pumped if you would. No. Let's just shop around Jace Peterson. Let's do it with accepting none of his salary. Because he, he doesn't have a role on his team. He just doesn't. I'm kind of leaning towards Rysel Iglesias because he's a really darn good pitcher and I can probably move him for a decent sum. Would you eat any of his salary? I'm not giving you Shea Langoliers. Okay. Brett Harris isn't that enticing to me. Let's make this deal. Right now. Let's go. 
This thing gives me a really talented reliever while not costing me as much in like top tier prospects. All right. International free agent signings. That's freaking go. Okay. Aaron Estrada is all right. Raylene Ramos is not. Harleen Susana is whatever. I don't care about you getting Joe Wheeland. That doesn't bother me, but I'm not giving you Tyler Soderstrom. He's got way too much potential. And yeah, you instantly hate the deal, as do I. So a polite but firm no thank you. What did you, did you get actual money from them? I can't compete with that. I can't compete with actual money. That's disgusting. <clears throat> All right. So here's the thing. Our scouting director really likes this guy. He's got a nice mix of pitches. He is on the smaller side. But I think he's at least worth taking a flyer on. So yeah, I will offer you the 290 grand. Now let's look at the hitters. Why is your domain so much lower than Medina's? Medina is older, which means he's closer to the big leagues. Understood. He'd be okay at first base. Yeah, let's not overthink. Let's offer Medina. I have 1.4 million left. Let's also offer on Vela here. And then see how this works for us. Oh, how did the Hall of Fame voting go? Did it think I didn't care? Oh, that haven't happened yet. I see. Okay. Uh, Pujols, oh, I forgot about Miggy. I should have voted for him, uh, but I didn't. Miguel Cabrera is obviously a first ballot Hall of Famer. It's a lot of people dropped off the ballot, I gotta say. All right, cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's talk to Kai already, and I will give him, I will offer him more money. Uh, because I'd rather have, wait, I'm literally giving you what you're asking for? What? Okay. That was weird, but all right. You would give me Nick Prado. Eh, I don't think so. Rejected. Oof. I've got to max him out. I've got to come with at least one 
elite player out of this. And if that's what it cost me, that's what it cost me. Uh, it has not actually been topped because they cannot offer you more money than I do. I just think it's so disingenuous to say like, oh, they've topped the offer. No, they haven't. They can only offer as much as I can. But you just want to play for Baltimore more. Which is fine. I respect that. But yeah. Um, oh, go back to my scouting director, please. We got Trinan, which is very good news. And uh, let's find a chump to get rid of. Danny Jimenez, I choose you. Hmm. No thanks. Not interested. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you for the increased budget. So I got $7 million burning a hole in my pocket. There's a lot I can do with $7 million. Um... I wonder if there's another starting pitcher that I could acquire. I'd feel so much better if we had one more good starter. Hmm. Or another nice reliever or two wouldn't go amiss. I mean, James Paxton is right here. I'm not saying he's an amazing pitcher, but I'm saying he's a damn sight better than what we've currently got. So I do think offering him a, a one-year deal does make some sense. I'm not necessarily looking for, say... A World Series roster because we're far, far, far away from that. Let me guess. You got the maximum, which is the same thing that I offered you. That's the exact same thing. Whatever. Uh, Tyler McGill getting worse doesn't make me happy. And we get James Paxton as well. Beautiful. Uh, hey, Brian Howard. You suck. Actually, let's trade Drew Ruchinski if we can, because he doesn't really offer us too much. Oh, that was the issue. Okay. Yeah, see you later, Drew. All right. Let's offer up some spring training opportunities. Gilov, Soderstrom, Fitz, Skeens. Okay. 
it'd be pretty dope if he could get into the majors this year, but I'm not really expecting much. To be blunt with you. I got a whole lot of shitty relievers, so a guy like JT Ginn actually does have a decent chance of making it. Okay. I'm good to go with this for right now. Let's let our... Do your things here. And update, please. And Paul Skeen's also going to hit for himself. That's pretty funny. Um, I'm surprised Finns isn't getting a chance, or Fitz isn't getting a chance, but we'll see what happens here. Uh, let's go ahead now and advance time a bit. Manager option. Oh, I need to assign instructor roles, don't I? There you go. If we got rid of Eric Kubota, that would probably help. But we're just going to see what the owner thinks. Why do you have to be such a jerk, Kubata? Seriously. I like you a lot, but, like, everybody hates you. Staff rolls. I need a normal dude. Well, Mark Kotze, if you don't improve significantly, then Garrett Bauer is going to get promoted. Just letting you know. Because he's a really good manager. I'm going to fire Eric Kubata in an attempt to just... Yeah. I want scout ratings... What is your personality, though? Ah, uh, here we go. Coach ratings. No. General info. Reputation? That's not what it's called, is it? I don't think it, it's personality. There you go. And he's normal. Brilliant. Uh, welcome aboard, Jason. That should help us with our staff cohesion a significant percentage. Okay, let's go ahead and advance time uh, about a month. Player development. Some okay developments here. I like seeing this quite a bit. 
I mean, Mark Vientos doesn't really deserve to be a third baseman. He's not that great a defender, but... Look, worst case scenario, I can force him to play for his base, and that'll be fine. Uh, whatever, Alex Cobb. Excellent. That should help with our chemistry quite a bit. Um... Why are you saying that there's nobody that's normal? He's normal. It might just take some time to, like, build him into the staff of it, which is reasonable. Again, we're not looking for baseball brilliance this season. We're just looking for baseball competence, I suppose. Baseball acceptability. Like, hey, if we make the playoffs, I'm going to be really happy about that. I just don't think it's that giant an issue to me. Um, Paul Skeens is improving significantly. All right. Good stuff across the board. You love to see it. Okie dokie, Smokey. Uh, before we go any farther, let me first turn off this nonsense. Let's start getting the roster down. I want 13 pitchers and 13 hitters. I have way too many pitchers. Okay, Brandon Bielak? Absolutely fucking -lutely not. Go away now. Harris, Howard, um, I do want Skeens in the minors. I want him pitching every day. I don't want him, yeah. Um, Randy Vasquez can get fucked. I have 20 pitchers. I still got to get rid of seven of them. Um, fits to the minors. We can continue trying to be a starter. Where did you go? No, don't sun down again yet. I want to see how the rest of this shakes out first. Uh, go back to starting pitcher, please. You're a little bit more useful to me as a starter. Um, Acevedo. You can be waived. Bye. Oh, not that kind of wave. Sorry. Um, I'm going to put Adrian Martinez in the minors. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, Chad Smith can go to the minors. I kind of have to keep Kyle Mueller for right now, so I can't mess with him. Um... Freddie Tardock doesn't throw that many strikes. Oh, Tyler Sotis from Can't Catch. Okay, we'll send him to the minors. Can maybe work on that a bit. I'm gonna trade Kirby. No, I can't trade Kirby Snake. He's too injured. I could trade you though. 
Anybody want to give me an interesting prospect for him? No? Not one person? Okay. That's fine. I'm going to designate him for assignment then, if nobody wants to trade for him. All right. 15 pitchers. Still got to get rid of two more. Uh, Sears and let's put Sneers on Sneed on the IL for now. All right, so here is our our final rotation here. And pitching staff. This is a significantly better pitching staff than last season. I don't think there's any disputing that. On the other hand, though, it's relying a lot on veteran pitchers. So we definitely want to try to get some young guns in the next couple of seasons. And I see one of them right here. If I thought we had a genuine chance to make noise in the playoffs, I would actually consider calling up Skeens now. But I'm just going to let him keep developing before we rush him into anything. All right, so I got position players. I've got a lot of them. Garcia definitely goes to the minors. Um, Connor Capel doesn't really do anything. It's he's not really a compelling player. Get it? Um, Haggerty of the Miners for sure. Yeah, Almedis Diaz has to go. He doesn't really have any value to me at the moment. He has of little talent. Really? Not one player, not one team wants him. What if I get half of his contract? Then I just get even worse deals, okay. All right, I'm at least getting interesting choices now. And that's more than I was getting a few minutes ago. Jose Siri, excellent defender. I don't really want him, but that's a lot better than the other choices I've been given. Ronald Torres here is kind of a meh. Anytime you can acquire Ernie Clement, you have to do it, I think. I'm joking. I don't actually want Ernie Clement. I could just cut Diaz and save myself some headaches. Like, I don't need a third catcher. I have plenty of catchers. Connor Wong can at least play other positions, so I think I'll trade for Connor Wong. Wonder if I can retain less. Done. I'm going to put you on the 40 man, but I'm going to send you to uh, the miners. Oh, you'd have to clear waivers. Let's sound down Goloff then and let you have a major league spot. There you go. Like, let's be clear here. Vientos is probably going right to the, right to, um, the IL. 
It's only out for two to three weeks, so that's not too terrible. It could be a lot worse. Uh, let's go ahead and call up. Um, what do we most need in the infield? I need a third baseman. Do we call up Galoff and give him a chance in the majors? I mean, he played very well in AAA. I think it's worth giving him an audition. Uh, right there. So. Cool. Ruiz, man. Ruiz is on thin ice. I don't think he's a great fit for this club anymore. And I'm going to start looking for a better everyday right fielder if we can track one down for sure. Okay. Is everyone who needs... Nope. JT Ginn needs himself a 40-man spot. And everyone else is good. Oh, no. Giloff needs one, too. There we go. Cool. I like this lineup a hell of a lot better than last year's. That's for damn sure. We've got useful hitters up and down the lineup. We've got an actual star in Brian Reynolds. We don't have a ton of power. Um, if we take a look at our park, our park does suppress home runs. So it's not the worst strategy, but it is something to consider. By the way, I despise the fact that the A's logo has an apostrophe in it. That's not how grammar works, but that's okay. I'll get over it eventually um okay is there anything else i need to do to start the season now the veterans paxton and cobb are going to be on somewhat thin ice if Skeens continues to improve the way that i know that he can he might be in the major sooner rather than later we got Max Muncy. I have a lot of catchers. If I want a big time prospect, I might trade Soderstrom. He's a really, really talented hitter and an okay catcher. But I've already got a pretty decent catching core between Langoliers, Pozo, and Wong. Uh, so I don't know. Um, but we're definitely going to keep a close eye on Soderstrom and maybe find a new position for him in the future. Um, who's playing second right now? Is it Angeles or is it Hernais? It's not Hernais, I don't think. Cool. Well, we've got a much better team now than we did last season, which is, of course, fantastic news. What's less fantastic, though, is a lot of our good to decent players are on one-year deals. It would be nice to find a player that's worthy of sticking around to Oakland for a while and then give them a longer-term deal for some cost certainty, but I don't think that's really practical. So, we're going to lose Paxton uh, pretty much no matter what. So, we might want to start planning for that and figuring out if we can't get ourselves an upgrade on that department. Okay. I wonder if Nick Allen would take a decent contract, a decent long-term contract. Well, I literally can't offer anybody an extension right now. We don't have the money for it. That's gross, but okay. Uh, cool. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to play some baseball and, uh, and see if we can manage ourselves a bit more effectively this year. Bit more effectively. Until next time, this has been Avgardian, though. Thank you for watching, and I bid you.